instructions, not believing instructions, not trusting the instructions. And because I've done everything the hard way, I think I feel angry that somebody else would have to go through what I went through. I just want to cut all those struggles. Like I just want to take them out and say, Hey, you can still do all this stuff so on Instagram, on all socials, Facebook. I started a Facebook group so we can share results and experiments, diversity colorways, which I send out free every month in my newsletter. I share my dyeing process. What else? I'm Lori from Muffs Merino. I'm Lori from Muffs Merino. Well, www.muffs.co.nz. The dye wouldn't exhaust. There would be a lot of dye left over and it wouldn't exhaust into the yarn. I struggled with how much dye I needed to use based on how much fiber I was using. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to measure and calculate the dye amounts you need based on the amount of fiber you want to dye. I'm also going to show you how to calculate the same weight of fiber for various shades in the same color. How do I do it? So how do I calculate dye amounts based on the fiber weight? Here I have 100 grams, 50 grams, 25 grams, 10 grams, 5 grams, and 1 gram. In order to calculate the amount, we are going to use our 1 gram plus 100 ml dye solutions. Alternatively, you can skip making dye solutions and you can weigh your dye powder amount in grams on a microwave scale. In the previous video, I discussed how to make dye solutions and how to weigh your dye powder on a microwave scale. So if you've missed that video, you might want to check that out first. What are we going to do? Are we going to make a visual? All of the calculations are going to be based on 1 gram of dye plus 100 ml of water or 1 gram of dye powder. This is a standard amount that I maintain for my entire dye shop. And it's a great amount to use for most dye brands. Let's dye various amounts of fiber at 100% using our dye solution. Or weigh our dye powder out in grams. You may want to pause the video and take a screenshot of each section. Here we have various fiber amount weight calculations for the exact same color. Now let's dye the same amount of fiber at various shades. We have 100 grams of yarn at 100%, at 50%, 25%, 10%, and 1% calculations. Now let's dye various fiber weights at various shade amounts. Here is the formula again with other examples. First, let's dye various fiber amounts at 90%. Now let's dye various fiber weights at various shade amounts using the same formula. So 100 grams times 75% equals 75 mil or 0.75 grams of dye. And just a reminder, the formula is 100 grams times 100% equals 100 mil of dye. I have a die calculation chart that has all the die calculation amounts you need for various fiber weights. And this calculation chart is based on 100 grams plus 100 ml of water or one gram of dye for any dye brand. This die calculation chart may be helpful when you're beginning to learn how to dye fiber. A great starting point just to get your mind around how much dye you need for various fiber weights. I'm going to put together a PDF, a freebie on my website of the video snapshots, and you'll be able to download that for free from my website, and the link will be listed in the description of the video. I hope this was helpful for you, and if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments, and I'll be sure to get back to you.